Smart automation, better business. Learn how to optimize your business with Solved. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can edit custom fields you've added to the transaction line editor. And this is within Revenue Cloud Advanced. So let's jump right into Salesforce and we're on this test quote that we have the desktop product getting sold. And let's say that for some reason we need to track the delivery date and it would be nice if we had that in the transaction line editor. So this is a custom field delivery date that I created and I then went to the Lightning App Builder for the quote and I went to the transaction line editor here for the display columns. I went select and I added delivery date. So that's how we got to where we are now. But, and if you're watching this, you might be running into the same thing where if I try to edit this and let's say I want the delivery date to be the 30th of May, then I save it and I think all is well until it saves and I realize that nothing was updated. The field here was updated. If I went to the quote line, I'd see that the quote line deliver date is still null. And so let's walk through how we can fix this and what we need to do within Revenue Cloud. So the first place you'll go is within setup. You will go to the context definitions and you're going to go to the context definition in your custom definitions that you extended from the sales transaction context. And so if you're seeing multiple, then you'll go to the revenue settings and see which pricing procedure you're using. Go to that pricing procedure and see which context definition it's using. But you'll want to go to whatever sales transaction context definition is being used in your active pricing procedure. And that's where you come here and you will go to the map data tab. And we're going to need to make a mapping on the quote entities mapping to be able to go from the sales transaction item to the quote line item. So the first step is going to be making an attribute. So we'll click edit next, next, this bigger. And oh, I should go back on the edit on this screen. You'll come down to sales transaction item. And we're going to make an attribute for whatever your field is. And it and no spaces. And then you will want to put input and output and make sure it's the same data type. Then on the next screen, you'll go to sales transaction item again, where you'll find that and make a tag for it. And save. All right. Now that we have the attribute set up, we'll go into the quote entities mapping, edit, map. And I'll typically do the search here so that it narrows it down, makes it a little bit easier to find. But we're going to map on the left side, the sales transaction item. And under the unmapped, you'll find your attribute that you just made. And we'll map that to the quote line item field. And then we'll save that. And now if we go back to the quote and we refresh the page, I right, come to the transaction line editor. I'm going to now be able to set the delivery date. And when I save it, we should see that, that persists. And there it is. If you go to that quote line, so let's go ahead and go to that quote line and make sure it's there as well. And as you can see, the delivery date was getting was set correctly. And so that's how you can update the transaction line editor with any custom fields you have to make sure that they are able to be edited from the transaction line editor. So if you have any questions, leave them in comments below, like, and subscribe if this was helpful and check out our other videos on the transaction line editor, as well as other things like the product configuration screen and context definitions within revenue cloud. Hope this was helpful. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to help you automate your business. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more.